Hello guys and welcome to the World Championship, but not really the World Championship for Thrones 2nd Edition at Worlds 2015 at FFGHQ in Roseville, Minnesota. My name is Steven. My name's Robert. Hello, Robert. Hello, Steve. Well, let's have a conversation. How are uh, how are things? How is your second edition life going so second far? Second edition life is going great. I have to concede, though, I'm more in love with the Tyrells than I am with the Lannisters. As you should be. And we see Good. Sam here on the right. Justified. Martell allied with House Tyrell, or bannered with, if you will. And then on the left, we have Patrick Haynes, who's running Greyjoy, Greyjoy. Fealty. Surf and turf. The sea and sand striking oh, against each other. Sam just landed that six card Look at setup, it. blowing it like up. the old school Martel and he, you can control tell he's decks. happy with it. He touched all to of do. the cards after flipping them over. And Patrick on the flip with Asha little birded up and a Lord Sport shipwright. Gotta say that the new overall look of these second edition cards is way more pleasing uh, to the eye. Gorgeous. As a commentator. As a commentator, I could look at these calls all day. Gorgeous. I can't wait to make a gardener deck it's out like of Tyrell. It's like eight little paintings on the board. All I do is grow my roses. And, grow roses, and I yeah. somehow became king of all the realms. It's like being a merchant in uh, you know, in an MMO. You're That's right. Like, ah, I'm just making crusaders, dog. Anybody want a crusader enchant? 100 Gs. No, it's 100 G without mats. 15G with. Hey, it's important to note at this point, guys, after such thrilling commentary, that these games are made possible by purchases from, from our store. Financial support from viewers like you. That's right. Teamcomment.com slash store. Get you some banner tokens. Those are our uh, compatible with Thrones power tokens there, and they're real solid. They're made so compatible. Mahogany. Whoa, is that a sneak wood? attack? We got a sneak attack and a march to the wall. Oh, man. Oh, and look at that marched. What a tough decision. Oh, that is crazy. You're yeah, right. Because that shipwright's yes. going to lock down Gaston. You're exactly right. You, you kind of got to lock down Gaston. Oh, my <sighs> gosh. It's such a tough decision. Patrick's got to make. Oh. Ooh, and it's just ooh, a discard, ooh, so it's ooh. not killed. But you got to have Asha, right? You got to have Asha. That's five Gs. Yeah, she's she's quite an investment, so hard to not capitalize on that. Right from yeah, onset. and Green Blood Trader goes right to the wall. Sam, not even, not even thinking. See you, Mister Trader. All right, so he kept the gardener though. That tells you something. That gardener will become king someday. Is the shipwright more important than Asha here? Potentially in this setup, but maybe ostensibly yeah. no. They are nowhere near on the same level. Let's well, let's see what kind of crazy decision Patrick makes. Oh, oh you did keep it. Oh. Stephen called it. Bonus points. That's unbelievable. But I hate that, ultimately. You get the little bird back, which is fine, but like, oh my gosh, that's a five cost <laughs> Asha, oh my man. God. Yes, Asha, see ya. Oh, that's so painful. Which really burns your setup. That's that's well more than half your so, gold so, uh, of setup. Uh, let's, let's look at this. Uh, you get eight. We've got a shipwright versus right. a gardener, a scavenger, uh, money thing, Gaston Gray, and Sunspear. Like, this that's right. is incredible for Sam right it out is, of the gate. It is incredible. He was just built to, to do exactly this. Which makes that sneak attack plot just look sad right One now. One because he has, challenge. He has five gold, nothing else economically to fall back on. It's a tight spot to be in. Patrick needs to find some econ here. Play it out. Just play it out. Just study it out. Just study it out. Just look at the board. Play it out. Play it out here. Just get some economy rolling. We'll get that board buffed up. Martel, you know, maybe Sam doesn't have any, uh, any of the big hitters in hand. You can last a few more turns, solidify your board. Just drops a red vibe. We don't yeah, boom. <laughs> we don't have a Valor to worry about in second edition. For those of you watching who also played first edition Just or know of it. Sneaky uh, plotting Varus. Yes, there are Varus essentially has a kind of Valor effect, but it's board based and, and you have discard. To keep him, you keep him around, you gotta not keep your dominance. Uh, which is not always the easiest thing in this game because it can be a challenge. That we don't have the plot, the statement still applies. Valor Morgulis. All men, a.k.a. men and women, must die in the world of Westeros. That's right. And a King's Road. More sweet, sweet econ for Justice Sam. Justice has been deserved. And a little initiative bonus. That's a, that's a pop and drop card. It is a pop and drop, unless he doesn't want to want to pop oh. it. Or drop, or and, drop pop, and pop, rather. Excuse me. Whew, I coined the term and then forgot it. Must be a good term. Mm -hmm. Highly forgettable. Or he could also just keep with the plus one initiative. I mean, that's if true. he doesn't need it, that's the kind of thing. I, I feel like it's almost a golden parachute there. You only drop it when you got to. <laughs> Otherwise, leave it on the board. Keep getting that bonus. Down. 
Patrick, just look at him. He hates it. Yes, this is a... And he decides to kneel it. Ooh. Decides... No drop and pop for you, good sir. To kneel sir. it. And it is a kneel and discard, so that prevents that, but it leaves the Gaston Gray open, which potentially which was the only more reason advantageous. Yes. for the shipwright to have been on the board, but now finding a better use in preventing the character flood. That's right. And probably not a bad call because really Patrick needs to stay put here. With the plot like sneak attack, you only get one challenge, he has to make it count. He needs to get some econ rolling, play out some, some gold houses. Second edition terms not quite readily apparent to me yet. Gold houses. Gold house, Rose Road, Sea Road, Gatehouse. You know it. Sunset Sea. Reducers. I'm just an old dog learning new tricks. Reducers, producers. All those things. It's gorgeous, man. Look at this. Spending the money. I'll oh, tell you oh, what. oh, we're spending it. One, two, three. Just two for now. And then Neil and the Scavenger. So it must be a Martell Reducey card Ducey. here. And there's Obara. Great. And the Gardener's doing some work, too. Oh, and Large and Marge, Marge Sentia. Marge coming in. Oh, my goodness gracious. The most sensual character in this game. That's right. Bar but none. all she loves is her flowers. I mean, so who could who could deny there's a little ship? So we got the uh, the plus one to we, attack. We call that a dinghy. That's a, that's a little salty navigator there. And Blackwind's crew with pillage. I, so I don't like not, your tood, salty oh, navigator. Patrick not seeing any economy. Nope. This is a bummer. That's a bummer, man. I mean, of course Sam's doing well because he figured out if you unite the, right. the desert peoples with the fertile peoples, Tyrells uh, being the fertile people and the Martells being the desert people. You're, not, you're not, not just reproductively? No, no, not exclusively, but also uh, <laughs> In not, any way you not slice it. <laughs> uh, there goes Abara on the military challenge. Swinging in. Let's hope there isn't any funny stuff. Because Marjorie could pump that challenge, and then you get something like a put to the sword, die by the sword, whatever it's called. It's a put to the sword it's these days. It's a put days. to the sword, which would just be devastating. It would be devastating. I'd be devastated. Sam or would feel really great, and Patrick would be none too pleased. Yeah, Patrick kind of looking a little dejected here. It's like, how is this happening? He opposes and gives plus one to Blackwind's crew. Four strength. It's going to make him a four strength. That's going to oppose the military challenge unless Large Marge comes in. But he does prevent the intrigue by doing this, which is a very smart play. That's correct. Always keep your cards. Hold on to them as long as you can. Marge is boosting it. Yeah, there we go. Boosty and he's gonna Well, he's going to get a two-claim military right back. So so Patrick making him making his way out of this turn as good as he can. I think so. I think he's got to chuck Blackwind's crew here. Yes. And get a risen from the Ooh, CM. Nice. Rise him. Man, that's exactly what you want. Oh, nice, Patrick. This Great is looking joy okay. rises. Sam's board's still impressive, and he's got a big reducer coming in next turn, unless it gets knelt again. Two claim military. Will anything there be gonna happen? Any shenanigans? Martell can do anything. Remember now, gold is really important in second edition. He may not have any, uh, any options here. All right, there's a fealty. Uh... Okay, so he's getting ready to he used fealty to reduce the next would-be event that he's about to play. Maybe did he? We're just uh, making sure everything's kosher with that. Or right did it? Now? Maybe it it actually happened and he just didn't kneel the the house ah, card yet. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Any number of things could be happening here, guys. See, I thought that was a marshalling action, but I'm not sure. It is, but it, maybe he said it like in ah. fealty minus one minus one for this thing, but he never actually physically knelt the card, and is now taking care of that. Or maybe he's doing it now to play a wild event. We're all caught up. Maybe it have to be a unique Greyjoy event. So. Sam really thinking this one through. Is he up I mean, to something? I mean, he's going to lose two two guys here. What's he got? Or is he just... Do you lose the gardener and the traitor? You can't oh, kill Marge. Nah, come on. You can't kill Marge. You can't kill either of them. No. She's one of the most cost-effective cards out there right now. Gaston Gray could also send something back, but that's not happening. Bouncy wouncy. Whoa. Rockin' rockin Tide. So that's a response to you. Right Gaston Gray, a response. We're still learning the rules here, guys. A little second edition rules. So unopposed claim, and then the reaction to get Gaston Gray out of there, and Boom. both of the reducers are gone. That is a pity. That's about as good as Patrick could ask for here. Yep. That'll uh, get him kind of back into the mix next turn. Push for dominance. 
and then we'll go back. Reset. So Repeat. yeah, you, you can't you can't be too sad about this. No. Uh, got over the marched play. It was a great play. Mm-hmm. Got to go down based on the reserve value. Remember now, plots have a reserve value, and you have to go down to that many cards in hand, and it's only five on sneak attack. So. Patrick limiting his hand early for a little offensive benefit. Yep. It's an interesting play on the first turn because it does give you one challenge at high claim, but I don't know. Do you want that to be entry? Is Do you it want enough? that to be military? Oh, Depends. we got another sneak attack. Whoa! Double sneak attack and then combo from he Westeros. Is super sneaky. So at this point, Sam, Sam has to call the challenge right. Call the challenge and then minus one claim on that challenge. And we do not know what that challenge is, but that's here's right. going to be my guess. Military. What makes you think that, Steven? I just think that that's the game that Sam's looking to play here. And the, it depends uh, on his hand, absolutely. He, Sam just popped his drop. Minus three gold. To something. Hope it's nice. And Patrick going second here? Yes. All right. Which is interesting. All right, far out. Very interesting. I mean, it, it makes a lot of... You got Sunspear on the board. You got to be careful. The littlest finger. Uh, little finger. Nearly on the board. Oh, oh he's creeping oh, around. Oh, 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 back to hand. Hello. Classic, goodbye. Hello. Classic little finger. Bye. Boom. Oh, okay, there he's he back. Is. All right, he's back. Going to trigger to draw. Oh, it's so good. Two cards. Just getting you two cards. Just and run that card. Four strength. And he's got gold. Yeah, I run two of him in my deck. <laughs> I run two. How about you? Man, this is a gorgeous board, though. Look, Man, at, look at that back blood, row there. Blood Orange Grove. We got Blood Oranges. We got a beautiful island kind of uh, vibe there on Sunspear. Nice palace out in the ocean. No wonder everybody's trying gardens. to make friend, frenemies with Martell all the time. Hey, it's gorgeous We've stuff. We've got man. this picturesque countryside blood oranges for days and now the tyrells are helping him uh, water cultivate. gardens that's right yeah here's your new irrigation techniques do you know what an archimedes screw is Ooh, and and the shipwright's gonna kneel that blood orange grove oh no so, econ for you guys just a little trying to limit the econ here i it's like a all reducer right. choke all right that's fine so you're saying there's a chance yeah i mean at a certain point you might even just you might even want that entry icon i don't know i don't know it's tough I guess he probably wants to prevent the Viper here. Yes. You don't want that four gold to turn into five for that reason. No. No, sir. Sir, Although Bob. Viper, not not what he used to be. I mean, still great. Don't get hey, me wrong. Hey, don't get me wrong, hey. Don't get me wrong. But like, oh, sh- I mean, he used there, to. I mean, Steven. he used to be like, okay, well, my yeah, chances I mean, of winning just he he did plummeted. used to be just unbelievable. There's Ario Hota. Ario Hota. Now you know what's interesting about Ario. So you can ambush him in for five. He doesn't say much, right? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, keeps himself mostly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if he enters during a challenge, you can remove that character from a challenge or any character. A I character, Ooh. a participating character. Ooh. So ambush like him in for five. That's ambush pricey. him in for five. So instead, choosing to play him straight up for three mm-hmm. because he only had four gold. That's fair. Get the get the challenge strength. He's very well concentrated with all the mono icons and military mm-hmm. from these Martells. They're very militant society. Very much. So now Obara can defend power while she's knelt. So. Yes. Keep that in mind. That could be a, a thing here because Sam is going first. Also, the fishmonger art is second to none. Oh, it's fantastic. That's definitely how you monger fish. That's I mean, right. There's no, no better way. And look at the... Can't you feel it, though? Like, you're looking at this game, and, and I understand that games have rules, and, and that's important, too, but you also are just looking at this board. Yes. Look at this board, and you have clearly kind of this desert, islandy, you know, beautiful mm-hmm. vibe over here on the right. You have a clearly... Just look at harsh this. Harsh brutality. Iron, harsh, exactly. Just destitute, cold island over yes. there on the, on the An left. An old uh, Cthulhu worshiper Balin over here. Yeah, look at him, Coming into play. Right? What's he putting in that fire? Uh, I don't know. Probably somebody's Probably firstborn. Probably his daughter. Yeah. He's a that's hard man. Th- that's not Balin. And Thera. I'd take Balin as my king. I think he'd be an excellent king. Uh, I don't know if you could afford his iron price. I personally couldn't, but I do think personally. he would be a great king. He Not would personally. be very objective, very Machiavellian, you know. But also, I don't think, I don't know. He he seems a little uh, emotional. He does. And prideful, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't the always make emotion. for the best decision making, but we'll see. We'll see. It does around these parts. Depends on how long his uh, kingly term is. I didn't vote for him. Every week. We <laughs> vote. Take turns. <laughs> 
Sam's looking all right here, man. Sun Spear's good. This is a game, guys. We got ourselves a game, Patrick. It's it's evened out pretty nicely because Balin is more or less uh, an auto win against everybody but Arya Hota. He's on yeah. He's on board board patrol here. That's right. I've got two icons and five strength. And he can strength. go up. He can go up one strength uh, with the ship down there on Patrick's board. So oh, what? There's Obara coming in for the military. Three strength. Possibly three more from a large Marge. Man, and I would love to threaten a two-claim Intrigue Challenge against this Martel hand, but right. it can't be done. Right. The icons aren't there. They're just not anymore or ever again. Unopposed. You never want to let Greyjoy go unopposed. Well, it's dangerous. Martel's uh, making the challenge, so that ain't happening. Fishmonger goes to the yard. And now we yeah, have I don't know it. why I said that. We have it. <laughs> just, it was just for later. Just for later, you know? <laughs> we have an intrigue challenge. I was, Tears I was of watching bliss. ahead. Tears oh of my bliss going goodness, on Balin. I'm Balin. Heal him. No. Somebody get him some heals. Oh, goodness. Where's the antidote? He's going down at the end of this phase. He's going down. The poison. You just drank the you poison. You just drank the poison. Oh, man. Put it in the tea. Oh, and Poppy out of hand. Man. Oh, man. And just and that was what was that there? You know, flirting with just other flirting with cards. There. Just I'm gonna throw cards at you. Be ready for it. Man, I can't believe Balin just drank the poison. That is so sad. Yeah. See you later. And Stephen was all excited for him to be king for the week. Well, we talked about him being prideful, and that's what happens that's to prideful right. people. Yeah. They get that, straight poison. That'll learn you to drink things, ever or at all. I think that's his, that's the deal he had with the Cthulhu mist behind him. I take all of my fluids intravenously. Here comes Balin. That's what the smart kings do. And uh, launching all at once here. Can you believe that? What a spread. Looks like, let's see what it is. Is it military or is it power? It's I, gotta be I'd mill. I'd be tempted to go power here. It depends on what Calm of Westeros is all about. Hota can uh, stand up to that. All right, oh, yeah, so it, it was, was military, it was one military less claim. And, and Calm was, was military, so mm -hmm. man, you know what, Steven, Steven, you should speak gone, more often. Would have gone power challenge there. Let's get some uh, poor video quality uh, casual footage of you. Talking about thrones? And talking about thrones and talking things. Talking about thrones. Talk about some Netrunner. I'm so ready to get just just into this game. This game is poised to explode it's been, across it's just been too long since Westeros I've really and the universe. Gotten thrones in my in my blood. Thrones in the blood. It'd be very painful. Oh, no, baby. And so we've got a, a set of plots that Stephen and Robert need to know about. Counting, Counting coppers. Counting coppers here. It's just a draw plot for Greyjoy. And? And a Clash of Kings. A 491 over there uh, for Sam. If you win a power challenge, you move a power to your house from your opponents. Speeds you up a little bit. Gives you some initiative and a decent four gold. I like it. Yeah, just a nice little plot. A nice little one. One power, move power. And now, two gold. So it's almost kind of, it's kind of a Valerie type effect here off of this Counting Coppers. I think you're right. I've got the cards for like, you know, the later game sustainability, but this turn I could just get wrecked. <laughs> riggedy, riggedy, wrecked. And you don't want that. No, nobody not, wants to get wrecked. Not in this game. Not by, not in this commentary booth. No siri Bob. Not out there listening. You guys don't want to get wrecked. Nobody this wants to get wrecked. This is a championship for worlds. I'll tell you what, Martel board's looking better and better. It is. I'll tell you, poisoning, poisoning Balin there. I could write an essay about how important that was. It There's was another a, salty navigator. It was a great uh, move. That's just not enough. Mm. That is just not enough. Got to reduce action over on the Martel side of things. And Marjorie really doing some work here. I just can't. Oh, she does such work, man. Can't get over Everything on the board plus three she strength is. until yes. she's knelt, man. Everything. What am I supposed to how do How am I supposed that? to add that up? That messes with the math. It does mess with the math, because then I can just suddenly boost strength, and now I'm the five over that I need to be to play this dumb <laughs> event that's going to make things even worse for the other guy. It's it's frustrating. It can be. Flowers and axes and little finger planting over there. It's a very, it's a very sneaky board over it's there. It's a very uh, sneaky board. Sam. And he's got a lot of gold here. Yep. He's, he's going to reinforce. He's going to keep dropping things. Oh, and, poppied and up. Poppy, the Lord Sport Shipwright. Man, building ships is always you can't build ships the first priority. If you're in the old Iron Islands hospital. Got some more Martellus. Ariane. Ariane, oh my goodness. You can put her back in your hand 
to uh, put a little character of five or lower into play. Isn't that it, insane? It's a bouncer. So you bounce her out, you put another fiver in. So you can use her, bounce her, put a fiver lower in, use that thing. And uh, some wild shenanigans possible with those cards. It's very nice. All right, Patrick needing to do a lot to, to turn this around. He doesn't really have, he doesn't have it. And what's really going to start to add up here, I think, uh, as this turn plays out and over successive turns is that uh, Patrick just doesn't have the green icons here. He has no green icons. To maintain control over this board, over this game, and that's going to pay a price. And see, this is the, the, the scenario that sucks. You put Aryo in at five strength. Yep. You can oppose with six, even potentially seven. Yep. Or I'm sorry, even six. But, uh, but, then, but then Marge comes Marge in. Marge comes in. Large Marge. Sitting pretty there. Got a rose for Aryo. I win the challenge anyway. Sucker. Aryan coming in on an intrigue challenge. Very, very tentative intrigue challenge there. I think I Look will. at her longing. And then she does her talent. She bounces, and something else comes in with military and power Just icons to foil. Look at that art. This remaining Greyjoy character. You got her and Marge on the same side of the board. It's you know like there's trouble. There is trouble. Too much seduction. It's too sultry over there. It is very sultry board, especially comparatively. Yes. Greyjoys don't do sultry. No, they do salty. <laughs> <laughs> Salty v. Sultry. Take your pick. <laughs> Salt v. <be> Salt. <laughs> your choice. Your choice. Oh, goodness. It's, the choice is yours. It must be a power challenge, then. Power. I'm going to go and oppose it, but lose it. Because Marge is standing. You use the ship, then Marge gets used. Win the power, know. take a power. What do you do? There's two power netted. There's Clash of Kings happening right in front of Ma our eyes. Making it work. We still have an intrigue that we haven't even played with yet. Which is interesting. Yeah, we got to look. Giving challenge order. We got to watch in a traditional uh, appreciation. Yeah, you know, you always gotta, you always gotta play the board. Oh, and here. a tears of list. I just saw it on Sam's yeah, well, hand. Oh my he doesn't. Gosh. He doesn't. Uh, Will he? He's not. No. Will he? No. Is he gonna boost her? No. I think we're. Yeah, we're claiming. Nothing. So it's too late. All right. So ooh, ooh oh, a, a critical piece of econ. Wait, a drop is? and pop. Why was that not on the board? Oh, 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 the informant comes the in. The informant comes in. Another challenge. That means another challenge. Another intrigue challenge. And that challenge. means another intrigue challenge. And there's the tears of There's the tears of loss. Oh, my gosh. It's a, it's a Hail Mary. It's a home run, this Robert. This is insane. It's done. He pointed at the outfield, and he cracked it over. Ball's going there. <laughs> Called just, it. Just Calling the shots. out of the park. I mean, it's just a dream one, again. One player to another. That is just that is just awful. Sam just in, in oh, the business of die overwhelming by. this board. Or put with two. Some, with some serious I'm gonna, marks. I'm going to get shenanigans. those confused forever. Is it die bar or put, put to the two? sword? Put two. Thank put you. Put to the sword, yeah. Thank you. It's going to take me about two years oh to get that right. Oh, my gosh. This has just gone down to nothing. Yeah, this is not looking good. Again, no valor in this game. Excellent. There is no redemption here. except from what you play in terms of non The best you've cards. got is a march tier, and it doesn't yeah. even do anything. That informant is bananas. Oh, just got bananas. With, with Ariane, I mean, it's just such good. Such simple synergy. Yes. Bringing the Tyrell magic into House Martell, making it more annoying than ever before. That is crazy. Wild. Wild, crazy stuff. Moving on to our fourth plot here. And our fourth turn. We've calmed it down a little bit. We have Filthy Accusations. Going to be a kneel on uh, Patrick's side. Oh, Hota. And a wild play of naval superiority by Sam here on the right that is going to blank all the gold on a Kingdom or Edict plot. However, Filthy Accusations, so it is not. So interesting to see here, though, that Sam's plot deck is designed to basically stuff whatever plot you were going to drop to get back in the game yep. on an economy side. Yep. And I can imagine that has paid him dividends during this tournament. Oh, sure. Or maybe it has always just not worked. But <laughs> Maybe this know. is the first time it ever really panned out. There's Asha. And even now, see, it didn't do anything for him this, this time around. That's right. Didn't. But if he had hit a Kingdom of Edict, Asha with a little bird. Over. We've seen this before. Yeah, we saw this. And unfortunately, you imagine what would the game look like if that Asha had stayed on the board? What would it have looked like if, if Gray uh, Balin had stayed on the board? I Different. Mean, there's just a lot. If the, the Raiders had stayed, it's just... Just a bucket of removal coming out of Sam's That's uh, right. hat here. Two tiers. Two tiers of lists. That card is bananas, folks. Two tiers. Two Makes tiers. me shed a single tier. One from each eye. Duly allotted. You can't prove that. It's a metric tier. We can measure it very scientifically. 
Like Swedenborg. You know he was trying to measure the soul? Yeah, but he was having all kinds of crazy dreams and stuff. It's a, it's a pretty radical uh, really dude was. and experience. Look up Emanuel Swedenborg. Anyone who's interested in, Guess in where anything he's from. out there. It's not Sweden. Dang. Yeah, sorry. I was guessing. Whoops. <laughs> There's a green blood trader coming on the board. We're going to draw, essentially, look at the top two. One on the bottom, one in the hand. What do we got? What do we got? What Just do we got? classic Martel. The you shuffling so fast. They used to do Is that this. a growing strong and something else? Martel used to do this stuff with really ugly Can't cards. Tell. You know, mm -hmm, they had like mm -hmm. the flea bottom and yeah. like, all the scavengers. And then it's and like, stuff. no, it's exotic and colorful. Yeah, now Let's they're bringing it, it home with style. It's like we went from, you know, I don't know, sub Saharan Africa, or no, Saharan Africa, where it's just kind of muted, sandy colors. Yeah, which is the classic Martel theme. And now it's a lot more. Now uh, it's more like Oasis India. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh no, we have curry everywhere, blood oranges, spice, fine silks. It works. And a Gaston Gray. And a Gaston Gray. And a, and a Gaston Gray that's duped. Do you want a Gaston Gray? You know what's wild about that? You boys that? like Gaston Gray? We all know that that Gaston Gray is going to go away. So the dupe isn't going to matter too much. However, it keeps it safe. That's right. In case of some weird stuff put to the torches, those kinds of things. So uh, now, now what I have wanted to maybe just save the other one in my hand to play it next turn after mm -hmm. I use it? Probably. But I think Probably. Sam believes he can, he can win this round if he just has the bounce. You have to believe in yourself. I think so. And if Game of Thrones has taught us everything, it is that. And, and heaven forbid if Game of Thrones has taught us everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play not. in a tournament with Stephen and Robert. You could be, you could be <laughs> invited to a wedding real quick. That's right. Oh, you beat me at a tournament. Okay, cool. Well, would you come to my wedding, please? Yeah, come to my wedding. <laughs> right over here. There will be food and empanadas. Oh, man. Any wedding that has empanadas. Food and empanadas, let me tell you. <laughs> Food. Different Which don't, category. Don't count <laughs> on the traditional sense. Speaking of Bake Off, by the way, uh, we were watching the episode last night, Shannon and I. Not last night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Great American Baking thing uh, two nights ago on, <laughs> on Netflix. Uh, and it's, and on it was the, the one where they were making the savory Meat pockets, pies. essentially. Uh huh. So uh -huh. some people were making empanadas, some people were making like not deep fried things. It was like a pastry filled with something savory. Uh huh. And oh my gosh, they looked incredible. It looks so good. Why why aren't we doing more of this in America? I well, apparently it's like the most it's the most popular reality show so far. So maybe we'll get our act together. It's and gonna stop be a revolution. All Jersey boys. All right, here we go. We got challenges coming in. Marjorie's gonna gonna bump it up. It's gonna boost. One one strength intrigue gets blocked by a one strength bumped to two by the ship, which gets bumped to four by Marjorie. Got a whole lot puts, of bumping. Which puts Sam on top. And a nervous intrigue challenge. Ooh, oh man, seal of the, the seal, seal of the, of the king, hand, whatever, king of the hands, hand seal of the, the seal. King. I believe we said every iteration of those two words just now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like let's mix them up. You guys know what we mean. You guys know those cards. Hey, here we go. This is potential. We've got Littlefinger swooping in here. Mm, and opposed by Asha, so stuffed it still, which is fine. It's it's a bit of a wash on that go around, but, but this hey. is the issue with corset Game of Thrones. A lot of a lot of players feeling this and understanding this, and we all know it too. If you look at any of the corsets from, especially from first edition, that's right. If you don't have a card like Valor, you have to play a different game, and we need a, a bigger card pool to start to find more of these catch-up cards. And there are things like Wildfire Assault, Wildfire Assault, but it's not the the reset that we're accustomed Patrick to. Patrick could have run a couple of varies and called it a day, but really the issue here is Sam's location presence. This is the first heavy, heavy location like focused board that I've seen uh, got so a far in this tournament. For Sam, Gaston Gray, Sunspear, Blood Orange, these classic Martel locations, Gaston and Sunspear especially, just doing the classic Martel thing and doing it well. Doing very, it well indeed. Well. We got summons over here for Sam, and he's going to try to find a closer here. Looks like he's picked up Knight of Flowers, which oh, is man. the closer. He has renown. For not renown. He has joust. He has no, renown and joust. joust, essentially. Well, yes. Renown and uh, new his, joust. His ability is joust. Which is simply, if he's attacking, one the, defender only. You got it. And wildfire. It. Three things. Kill the rest. Kill the rest. And there we go, the cut. And so Sam just keeps and rolling through here with cards. card advantage. He's got... Look like a confinement there. Don't you hate looking over at your opponent's side of the board and seeing 20 cards in their hand? This is classic Look Martel at that right here. fat hand. Classic Martel. Reserve hasn't even touched him. Gaston Gray playing a huge impact here. Reduce. Blood Orange Grove going to put out Ariane. We knew she was there. She's back. No surprises. In pog form. 
And she's going to do a challenge, pop herself, and then there's another informant. Hey, hats off to Sam, man. You know, because this just plays like you expect Martell to play. It's got a little more teeth than we're used to seeing. It's got the Tyrell Alliance, which is great. And this is this is a much less frustrating but still thematic Martell than we saw in first edition. Is it less frustrating? I think so. I mean, I think it's less like... It's less just super mechanics. <laughs> yes, and that's more true. Like, no super mechanics. I mean, there's a lot of challenges in, in yeah, there are challenges and Sunspear and all that happening. And he's actually winning challenges. He's oh, not just like, my gosh. oh man, I've got confinement confined. on Asha. Lose all your icons, and you've got three of them. This is just a complete disaster. That is the waste. Sam is just controlling the world here. Yeah, he is coming in with Ario, five strength. Just opposed, opposed and going to have to unfortunately and sacked. Sack him. Meantime, uh, he's just when Ariane's sitting one. there. Intrigue challenge. Intrigue coming in. Keep in mind, Asha at no icons here. We still have the shipwright, though. Ah, yeah, there it is. Opposing with the shipwright, and, and Patrick yeah. just doing everything he can to slow this game down. Uh, and there's another of... tier. It's the third tiers. It's the third tiers, man. That's unbelievable. That's really is what's sinking tiers. this for the Greyjoys, which and is because, a little ironic. And because of confinement, uh, she doesn't have the intrigue icon. That's true. Which means she can be tiered. She can it's, be tiered up. The synergy in this is insane. This is what we've been looking this for. What, and then the flowers. You the drop flowers. flowers in with Ariane, and, and he comes in for a power challenge. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's like watching a symphony. Uh, it just rolls itself right up that's it that's game dude that's this game is over. it is effectively game i think it i, think I don't, it may be I don't actually know game. i don't know how sam cannot win this with flying colors in this next turn oh my goodness but th but doesn't he has earned it here he this has, has earned, been a earned it yes and patrick just starting off on the on the wrong foot and not a hundred percent certain and gonna risen uh gonna risen instead of of the kill the kill for tears that's right fair Totally fair. That's fine. We'll, we'll accept it. Sam says, okay, fine. Whatever. I know I'm winning next turn. That's right. Be a good sport about it. I bet that's what he's thinking. And we have Call the Banners. It's going to get Sam two gold right off the bat. Ding, ding. And playing that against Confiscation, which is going to discard an attachment, which is going to get rid of the blanking effect on that shipwright. That's from correct. Milk of the Poppy. All these things are true. Confiscate that milk. Quit drinking it. Hey, it's not that good for you. Put it away. Go raid their ships and it's, kneel their gas to It's graze, more please. than just a sleep aid. All right. Collecting and, that gold. And, and Patrick just keeps trying to get out of this control chokehold. Mm -hmm. And just too little, too late. It's, it's difficult once it's set in. Can't quite it's more find like it. more like a... A headlock. And there goes Gaston. Kneeling oh, it down. and his there's own little finger. Little finger. So you're late. saying there's a chance? It's too late. Steven, no. It's believe. Too late. Believe, Steven. You and I both know it, man. I know. And that's just the last card he wanted to see. It's, he played is. what he could, but... Because that's not, expensive just to draw some cards. It's not what you want. And the banners are being uh, called Reduce, here. reduce. Spend the gold. Something crazy. Another Ariane. Not what you want to see. The very same one, even. Yep. Ooh, is that left? No, that's right. Or is it left? Who knows? They're that's twins. That's right. Oh, there. Well, there's the other one. No, they're Duke. No, the same. That's Duke. That's you the old be. Duke. Double right. I give him the old double right. Remote one two. From the Man, same so hand. Got a lot of gold there. Oh, because the little finger. That's Dang. right. Counting those books. Hello. He's got quick and installed. Now Patrick's probably going to be looking at this one and saying, "I'm pretty sure this is the end for old Patrick." It sure could he refers be. to himself in the third person. But we've learned that in Westeros, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And a good, I mean, you got to try to claw back into this game. He's done everything he possibly could. He really needed more aggro off of those original sneak attacks. Yes, he just he did. didn't turn he, the board like yes, he needed to. He that. just didn't. He got controlled by Sam. It's a long and short of Martel it. Martell comes into this match, a supreme underdog. I believe there were two or three Martell decks in the entire tournament. Whoa! That's it. And Sam basically saying, hey, guys, remember, control is still good as it always is. Put it with the so flowers look, of yeah. Terrell. You and have you to have joust a, me. You have to joust me. I'm at match strength with Asha. You've got to, and you've got, and you've got uh, Marjorie here sitting in the wings. Boosting it. When and where he pleases. Unbelievable. And there's the boost. These Tyrell kids are just This is just crazy. beautiful synergy. You find the two houses. They work so well together. Yes, they do. No nonsense. Card out. Straight Card up dead. control. Renown. Confiscate. Confine. Little finger. And there's Good the game. unopposed challenge. 
And Sam well takes it home, guys. Well played. Just a sweep, honestly. Thank you so much for watching. Patrick and Sam, good gameplay. Finals from Worlds 2015. They made it a long way it. to get here. This was a great time, guys. This content, again, is funded by viewers like you. Uh, anyone who buys from our store is really directly funding Driving all the stuff this, that we do. all of it. Hotels cost money, even the key in. Even the key which in. We stayed out there Let me Roseville. tell you. So thank you, you guys you so much. You get everything you pay for there. We'll keep doing what we do. You keep doing what you do best, and uh, we'll catch you more on the flip side. This has been Team Covenant, Robert and Steven, out. Peace.